International Skating Center of Connecticut for tonight's matchup between the Simsbury Varsity Boys ice hockey team as the eighth ranked Trojans host the Notre Dame West Haven Green Knights. The Trojans come in at 2 0 after pulling off, escaping actually with a 4 3 victory over North Haven on Saturday night. And uh, North Haven coming in with a record of 1 1, coming off an 8 5 victory over Notre Dame Fairfield. The starting lineup started with the visiting Notre Dame Green Knights. From left to right and the front line will be Dumas, Lynch, and Lynch. Connors and O'Connor will be on the blue line. And their starting goaltender will be Junior Wade Conlon. And for your hometown Simsbury Trojans, Aaron Riccio, Sterling Brandon, James Foster will get the front, the front line. The defense will be led by senior blue liners Kurt Eustace and Brian Gelman. And Drew Marquis, the freshman, will be tending the nets for the Trojans. Comes in with a record of 2-0, a goals against average of two. Gave up all three goals to North Haven, that very close victory they had Saturday night. Four goals allowed in two games. So Simsbury coming in today, ranked number eighth in the Hartford Current. Led by the strength of their blue liners and their defense, as well as their 10 seniors. So facing off at center ice. As we get ready, he's set to go. Here's the Grant Swenson. And Ryan Lynch at center ice. The ref signals ready for play. Trojans will be going from left to right in their home whites as they win the draw. It's Sconzo off to Gelman, back to Swenson. Crosses the blue line, puts up a shot wide right of Wade Conlon's reach. Chased over by Sean Gaffney behind the, the Notre Dame net. Chased over by Swenson, the near side corner. It's by defender Sconzo lays out O'Connor. Back to center ice into Dumas. Gets it poked away by Gelman Marquis. Stops it with a stick and gets it off to Gelman. Off to Sconzo. Poked away by a split second there. Chased over by Swenson. Simsbury trying to start something. 2 on 1 if they hurry. That's a nice poke check away by Dumas. And it's recovered by Gaffney. A 2 on 1 opportunity there denied by the senior left winger from Notre Dame. Chased over by the Green Knights and taken by Dumas. From right to left it goes, trying to find his teammate. Poked away by Brian Gelman, the senior blue liner. Offside warning. Now it's a delayed penalty call against the Trojans as they send the goalie to the bench for the extra skater. Back off to the point it goes to O'Connor. Crosses it to O'Connors. What's up a shot for that loose puck and a save made by Marquis and touched in and we'll have a penalty. A cross check against the Trojans. Let's see who the penalty's on. And it appears to be Sconzo. The senior forward got his first point of the season and an assist. La Saturday night against North Haven. So a defensive zone faceoff for the Trojans, won by Nolan Thompson. Sends off to Hunter Chapman, who loses control of the puck. Taken away by Hoban. Chased over, back by Law. To the left point it goes to Andrucci. Back to the right point, crosses it goes, and Notre Dame loses control of the puck. They'll have to get back on sides as Dalvin's kidding. Could not control the puck. A minute 35 to go in the penalty, 13.20 to go in the first period. Left point. It's Ansaldo. Puts up a crossing shot blocked away by Thompson. Back to the left point it goes to Hoban. Crosses it, and that is out of the reach of Andrusi. And that is poked back toward the Notre Dame zone. Another uh, offensive opportunity denied off their own unforced error. So the Green Knights trying to start their own offense here back behind the net. 
A minute five to go in the Sconzo penalty. Right to left, poke check away by S a gentleman there. On the left side, it goes to O'Connor. A forward back to O'Connor towards the high slot. There's a shot is kicked away by Marquis and taken by Eustace as he clears it back towards the Notre Dame zone. 40 seconds to go in the penalty, 12.25 in the first period. That puck poked away by Riley Chapman, the freshman. Sends off towards Eric Austin. And back to the Simsbury zone where Nate McIntyre deflects the puck in the stands for a faceoff. 27 seconds to go in the Sconzo penalty. 12-12 remaining in the first period. So facing off will be Eric Austin and James Foster. Trojans, actually no, excuse me, Renites win the draw. The left point it goes, there's a shot blocked away by Levin. Sent off for the Notre Dame zone, 17 seconds to go in the penalty. Three minutes into the first period, Levin loses control of the puck. Taken to the far side left by Zach Levin. Chased over by a couple Notre Dame skaters and recovered by the Knights as they go from right to left in their road unis. Stop, a little poke pass. Sent away by Gelman, deflected airborne and chased over by 11. The near side, blue line. Chased over to some Missouri skaters, poked off as it trickles into center ice and chased over by Pat Francis. There's a breakaway opportunity. Notre Dame puts up a shot. Kick save by Marquis. Rebound, scores! Green Knights strike first. It's Kyle Lynch, the junior forward, puts the Green Knights on top, 1-0. A turnover by the Trojans' defense on their own zone. And Dumas put up a great shot, but that was kicked away by Marquis, only to have the rebound opportunity to wide open net. And Notre Dame makes the Trojans pay. It's 1 0, Notre Dame West Haven. Thompson. So Kyle Lynch. Gets the opening goal this opening period. Assist by Lynch and Dumas. And that is a power play goal for Notre Dame West Haven as they lead this one, one nothing. Draw one by the Trojans as they send it off to center ice, taken over by the Green Knights. From right to left it goes O'Connor. Into the offensive zone, chased over by Thompson as he pokes the puck away, trying to get it from Brendan Morley. Chapman gets it poked away from the left point. It goes shot blocked away by the Simsbury defense. It's Will Rooney. Chased by Joe and Saldo behind the Simsbury net, trying to get it to the, the center slot. Oh, it's a shot kicked away by Marquis. Recovered back by the Notre Dame forwards and taken, poked away by Nolan Thompson as he fades, ends off a couple defenders. Taken back by Notre Dame, dumped into the offensive zone. 10.40 to go in the opening period, 1-0 Green Knights. Simsbury from left to right, it's Chapman. Back to center ice where it's poked away by a couple Notre Dame skaters. Chased over by Notre Dame as they try to get an offensive opportunity. Goes, what's up? A shot is just a bit wide. A big opportunity there by Alex Andrucci, but it is denied. Scrum to the near side. Trickles off towards the left point. Puts up a shot. It's left wide as Davins missed, fired. Taken back by Rooney. Tries to cross it to Thompson. That could have been a dangerous pass right there, taken back by Notre Dame. They go from right to left, it's Andrucci. Gets it poked away by Jack Reese. Spin pass, chased over by Eustis. Crossing pass intercepted by James Foster. As he holds, takes a vicious hit right there from Ryan Lynch, and then it's Aaron Riccio setting it right back. Foster picks off that crossing pass, gets it off to Riccio. Going from left to right as it puck pucks away, puts up a shot, it's blocked away by the Notre Dame defense. And there's a big hit there from Foster. And we got a delayed penalty call. This will go up against Foster. 
As he'll go two minutes for tripping. 9.16 to go in the first period. It is 1-0 Notre Dame West Haven. Cashing in on their first power play opportunity. A rebound goal by Ryan Lynch. It's already Simsbury in a 1-0 hole. Trying to get themselves out of another penalty. Thompson and Lupoli will draw one by the Green Knights. A little strum on the far side between Eustis, a couple of Notre Dame skaters poked off towards center ice and chased over by Lynch. Nine minutes remaining in the opening quarter. We have a whistle. And looks like another whistle. Another Simsbury penalty as they will call Kurt Eustis for slashing. So it will be five on three for Notre Dame for a minute 43 seconds. We are 11 minutes and one second into the opening period. Already a one nothing lead for Notre Dame. Strength this no Simsbury squad is their defense, but down five on three. It is a huge challenge in this opening period. Draw. One by Notre Dame, taken from the high slot to the right point. Puts up a shot, is just a bit wide, kicked away by Marquis. Notre Dame recovers. To the right, no, it's just wide of the right point. And Notre Dame will have to get back on side. A minute 25 to go on five on three hockey. From the right point, it's Lynch. To the left point to O'Connor, to Lynch. Puts up a shot, blocked away. And sent off to center ice, it's Brendan Law. That time a minute 10 to go for the five on three. Chased over by at the center ice by Dumas. From right to left, pokes it away. 60 seconds to go in the Foster penalty. Poked away to the left point. It's O'Connor to Dumas. Back to O'Connor, puts up a shot. Sent airborne away by Marquis. 45 seconds remaining in the five on three. Back to O'Connor, to Jama. O'Connor crosses it out. Other shot is just a bit wide. It was Lynch to O'Connor. To Jama, crossing pass, bit wide, it kicked away. 26 seconds remaining in the Foster penalty. 24 to go in five on three. Centering pass is just a bit wide left and chased away by Kyle Lynch, 15 seconds to go in the Foster penalty to the left point. There's a shot blocked away by McIntyre, taken back by the Green Knights from the left point. It's Lynch, that's a shot, is blocked away and that ends the Foster penalty. It's five on four hockey for 15 seconds. That centering pass is picked off by the Simsbury defense and set back to center ice. Nine seconds remain in the Eustace penalty. Notre Dame from left to right gets poked away by McIntyre. And that ends the Eustace penalty. Simsbury kills off a five on three. But they're not out of the danger zone yet. Puck chased by Ryan Lynch, the junior forward for Notre Dame. As he tries to weave through the Simsbury defense. Poke gets sent it back to the Simsbury zone. Chased to the far side by Dumas. Crossing pass taken away by Hunter Chapman. Simsbury has three on two if they hurry. Sent off. Towards Riley Chapman, Hunter Chapman's shot is set high and wide left and taken over by Notre Dame as they try to do the counterattack. It's three on three, sent back over to the Simsbury zone. Chased over by Brian Gelman, sent to center ice and then Nolan Thompson from left to right. Puts up a shot, is kicked away by Wade Conlon. Then back to center ice. Simsbury's gonna have to hustle as Jack Reese and Brendan Law Chase the puck down. Six minutes remaining in the opening period. One nothing Notre Dame. And that's a big hit at center ice as Jack Reese lays out Casey Hoban. Down to the Missouri zone, we have a whistle and a stop and play. Very eventful first period as Notre Dame netted a power play goal but then got fend off. Could not keep, take advantage of a five on three. And icing against Notre Dame will give Simsbury an offensive zone face-off with 5.52 to go in the first period. 
Arnold will draw for the Trojans against Eric Austin. Draw won by the Knights. By their own net, poked away. Chased over and sent right back in by Brendan Law. Their poke check away from Levin. Chased over by Arnold and Law, sent back to center ice. Poke check from Reese. Law hesitates. Arnold, pass to Arnold is intercepted by Andrucci. Weaves around the neutral zone before dumping it back onto the Simsbury zone. Chase over by Marquis. No icing. Chased over the near side by the Trojans. Great Casey Hoven trying to poke it away from Brendan Law. Sent back over to the near side where it's chased by Reese. Couldn't hang on. It's Arnold and Andrucci off to the left point. And that's lost by Notre Dame. They'll have to get back on sides. Under five to go in the opening period. 1-0 Notre Dame as Simsbury goes for a line change. Back of the cross pass. It goes to Pat Francis. We see the Simsbury zone. Blocked away. Sun airborne. Chased over by the Trojans. From left to right they go. It's Sean Gaffney. Puts up a shot from the left board. It's high and wide left and chased over by Gelman. Sent back to the zone. Poked away by a couple Notre Dame skaters. Gaffney off to Swenson. Stops, waits. Sconzo couldn't get a good look at there. As he chases over the puck. We got a whistle and another Simsbury penalty as the Notre Dame skater is sent into the boards. Can try to get a good look who it is. It looked like Kyle Lynch. So Sean Gaffney, the senior forward, will be called here for boarding. Four, 16 remaining in the first period. That is the fourth Simsbury penalty. Knights win the faceoff to the right point. O'Connor to Lynch. Puts up a shot, is kicked away. Gelman sends it off back. It goes to the neutral zone. Notre Dame will have to reset. It's Dumas. The left point into the circles. The hack behind the net. A minute 36 to go. Under four minutes left in the opening period. From the left point, it's Ryan Lynch. A little poke check away from Kyle Lynch. Boarded. Kyle Lynch. Back off to the high slot to Ryan Lynch. That is poked away by Nate McIntyre. Nolan Thompson sends it back to the neutral zone. A minute 14 to go in the penalty. 1-0 Notre Dame. Back to the neutral zone it goes. Gonzo chases it. And Simsbury will go for a line change with 61 seconds remaining in the Sean Gaffney penalty. Dumas from right to left. It's poked away by Riley Chapman. Crosses it over towards Reese to the right point. Cross it to the left point. It's Lynch. That's kicked away by Riley Chapman. 45 seconds remaining in the first period. Cleared back off the Simsbury zone. Riley Chapman tries to chase off another Dame defender, but he seals it away. 2.45 to go in period number one. It is 1-0 Notre Dame. Back behind his zone net. The Knights will try to start their offense here. 21 seconds to go in the Gaffney penalty. Crossing pass, it goes to O'Connor. That pass is poked away and sent over to back to the right point. Lynch puts up a shot, is kicked away by Marquis. Five seconds to go in the penalty. Crossing pass is sent off by Chapman. It's Reese. Pokes the puck away and the Gaffney penalty has expired with 2.11 remaining in the first period. Still one nothing Knights. Sent off the near side, chased away by O'Connor. Sent high and wide left. It's Chapman. Loses his footing there, recovers and sends it to the Notre Dame zone where the Trojans will go for a line change. A minute 45 remaining. So Notre Dame skater loses his penalty, or loses his footing. Three on two for Notre Dame if they hurry. It's Dumas, centering pass is kicked away by the Simsbury defense. Sent over towards Levin. 
90 seconds to go in the opening period. That's it poked away from the far side. It's sent off and taken by Dumas. Notre Dame from right to left, trying to weave through the Simsbury defense. That centering pass is wide. And Drucci couldn't get a good grip on that one. Taken away by the Simsbury defense. Notre Dame from the right point. Sent away by Gelman as he pinballs it off towards center ice. McIntyre puts on a hit there on Insaldo. That's almost an offside, denied there. As the puck trickles off to center ice, taken over by Andrucci. It almost went into the, the bench there. We have a whistle, and it seems like it might have. 42.1 seconds remaining in the opening period. one nothing Green Knights. Simsbury has already been in the penalty box four times tonight, giving up one power play goal. Trojans win this face-off. That pass is a little bit wide for Law. Recovers, crosses it to McIntyre. Tries to center this one. It's poked away by Dumas. Thompson. That's a nice pass there, but that shot is deflected up high into the mesh with 23 seconds to go in the opening period. And ironically, that would have been Simsbury's best look at the net all period long as the majority of the period has been spent in their defensive zone. But here they have an offensive zone faceoff as Thompson will draw against Eric Austin. One by the Knights. As it pokes around the near side, tricked back to center ice. It's Lynch trying to start a, an offensive break, but poked away by Ryan McIntyre with 10, excuse me, Nate McIntyre, 10 seconds remaining. Poked back to center ice and chased over by Chapman. Lynch puts one up there, airborne, poked away by Marquis, and that'll do it in the opening period. Well, it's been a defensive battle here for the Trojans as they we're basically playing a man down for a majority of the period. Going to the penalty box four different times, including a five on three, which they warded off. But it's that first penalty that did them in as they go up a power play goal to Kyle Lynch. And after one period of play, Notre Dame West Haven leads Simsbury 1 0. We'll be back with the second period right after this. And welcome back to the ISCC as we get ready to start period number two between the Simsbury Trojans and the Notre Dame Green Knights. Knights lead this one 1-0 off a power play goal by junior Kyle Lynch. As Simsbury go from right to left here, trying to put up the equalizer. It'll be Nolan Thompson and Ky the aforementioned Kyle Lynch at center ice. Draw one by the Trojans. It's sent off to a marquee. He'll set and cover. For a face-off, five seconds into period number two. Trojans were really on their defensive side for the majority of the first period as they had to kill off four penalties. They were able to kill off three of them, just that one power play goal by Lynch, the difference in this game thus far. Simsbury wins the draw, trying to start a three on two. It's Chapman. The left point, it gets poked away by Connors. Sent off to Lynch on the slot. Trying to go around Gelman, but gets taken off the tracks. And Simsbury pokes it away, taken by Notre Dame to the high slot. That shot is poked away by Chapman and chased over by Thompson. Sent, poked away by Lynch, sent off to Ryan Lynch. Crossing pass is poked away by Thompson and poked away by Gelman. Crosses it over to the captain, Nolan Thompson. Sent over to Lynch. Back to Ryan Lynch, behind his own net. That shot is blocked away and sent back over to the neutral zone. Still 1-0 Notre Dame. As they recover there in their own zone. Lynch on the near side, gets it off to Dumas. Back to Kyle Lynch, puts up a shot, it's sent away by Marquis, rebound, scores! Notre Dame, West Haven goes up 2-0. That's du Matt Dumas, the senior, off the rebound. Puts the Green Knights up 2-0. 
Both goals in this game have been off the rebound. And Lynch, who scored the first goal in the power play, gets credit with the assist. So Notre Dame leading Simsbury 2-0. Draw once again by the Trojans. That's been their silver lining thus far, has been winning the majority of the faceoffs. And that's a big hit right there from Sean Gaffney as he sent it towards Pat Francis. That is set wide. 90 seconds of the period number two, and Notre Dame has already doubled their lead. It's 2-0. Knights, and that's sent back to the neutral zone. Chased over by Dumas. 2-0 on a theory. Crossing pass is sent and poked away by Sconzo. Or it's chased back down by Andrucci. A scrum to the far side. Poked away by Notre Dame. Poked off, trying to go to center it. Instead, it's... Sent wide right. Chased over by Gaffney. Pinballs it off the near boards. That centering pass is poked away by Marquis. Chased back by Andrucci. Cross to the left circle. Poked away. But taken right back by Andrucci. Puts up a shot. Is gloved by Marquis and holds for a faceoff. 2.15 into period number two. It is 2-0 Notre Dame. Goals by Lynch and Matt Dumas. Simsbury really yet to get any good look at the Nets thus far. Draw one by the Trojans. It's McIntyre, pokes it off the boards. That's set and poked away. A nice hustle play by James Foster. That's chased over by a Notre Dame skater behind his own net. Sent over towards Colin O'Connor. Centering pass into the neutral zone. Chased over by Morley. McIntyre behind his own net, sends it to the near side. Chased over by Brant. Haven't heard his name too much this afternoon. It's McIntyre behind his own net. Riccio chases over there. That shot is poked away by Gelman. Sent over, taken by Notre Dame skater, and then poked away by McIntyre to the neutral zone. Chased over and a big hit there. It's Aaron Riccio laying down the lumber to Brendan Morley. Uh, behind the net, it's McIntyre. 11.45 to go in period number two. It's 2-0 Notre Dame. That's out of Riccio's reach. He tries to recover that. Instead, lays down the lumber to Colin O'Connor. And there is a nice set from the near side by Hunter Chapman. Taken back by Law. Sends it airborne to center ice where Chapman sends it to the Notre Dame zone. Chased over by the Green Knights skaters. Lynch sends it back to Kyle Lynch. To Dumas. Puts up a centering pass, poked away by Marquis. Behind the net, it's Kyle Lynch. Sent this poked away by Kurt Eustace. Hums away with it. Poked away by Hunter Chapman. Sends it to center ice and to Thompson, weaving his way through the Notre Dame defense and a whistle, and the Trojans are offside. 10.53 remaining in period number two. It's 2 0 Notre Dame. Simsbury did not trail at all in their Saturday night victory against North Haven, a 4 3 victory. Here they have not, they've been trailing the entire game. From the far hash. Simsbury wins another face-off. It's McIntyre from the red line. So he sends it into the Notre Dame zone. Chased over, but it's poked away by Ben Levin, the sophomore. It's Jake Arnold the near side. Pokes it away from Pat Francis, but he recovers it. Sends it towards the neutral zone. Gelman sends it right back. Offside warning from Simsbury as they get back on. Notre Dame from left to right. Puts up a shot, is blocked away by Marquis. McIntyre chases it down to the near side. It's Ben Levin. Poked away by Eric Austin. And McIntyre recovers. Sends it off the boards into the neutral zone. And that's a whistle. That'll be offsides against Notre Dame. As James Davins try to play that puck in the neutral zone but right in front of the official. So 
So at the far side, it'll be Swenson against Biondi for the draw. Knights win this draw. Sent to the Simsbury zone where Marquis holds, gets it to Eustace. Pinballs it off the boards. Good hit there by Peter Sconzo. Hooked away. That's Law. Sends it off the boards into the neutral zone. Chased back by Notre Dame. Simsbury tried to put a trap the puck there. Instead, got sent off by Notre Dame. There's a shot. It's blocked away by Kurt Eustace. Simsbury gets it, dumps it into the Notre Dame zone. Chased back to center ice. Where Law will take it in his own zone. Sent back to center and Grant Swenson. As he takes a hit there from Morley. It's Sconzo, puts up a shot. Wide left, low angle there, taken by Notre Dame. Sent off the boards towards center ice in the direction of Kristen Lapoli. Chased back by Dumas. Gelman sends him to the boards. Taken by Lynch from the left point. Shot blocked away by Sconzo. Dumas sends it to the boards. Chased over by Kyle Lynch, centering passes just a bit wide and poked away by Sean Gaffney. The Knights will have to get back on sides as they dump it into the Simsbury zone. 8.45 remaining in the second period. 2-0 Notre Dame. That blues puck set wide. Shot is wide right. And there's a nice hit there by Kurt Eustace. That's Swenson. Gaffney pokes it away. That's Ryan Lynch, sends it to the Simsbury zone, and then poked away by Eustace and sent back to the Notre Dame zone. Trojans will go for a line change, and we have a whistle. And that'll be icing against the Trojans. So Simsbury will not be allowed a substitution off the icing. 8.18 remaining in period number two. Eric Austin against Nolan Thompson, the captain for the Trojans on the near side circle. Thompson pokes it away, but sent to the direction of Joe Biondi. Sent wide right, Gelman sends it airborne to center ice, where it's chased over. No icing on the play. The near side, it's Thompson in between two Notre Dame skaters under eight minutes to go in the second period. It's 2-0. Puck chased over by Riley Chapman. And a big hit right there by Captain Nolan Thompson as he sent Colin O'Connor airborne. The near side, it's Chapman. From right to left, trying to start a break. He's got Hunter Chapman. Crossing pass, it's Thompson, puts up a shot, it's just a bit wide, and we have a penalty against Notre Dame. What a big offensive break right there between the brothers Chapman and no Captain Nolan Thompson as he had a wide open net for a few seconds. The silver lining is Simsbury will have a power play as sophomore defender Colin O'Connor goes to the sit bin for two. See, first penalty for Notre Dame tonight. As you see a Notre Dame skater trying to adjust his gear. Be Zach Levin for the Trojans. Against James Devins of the Knights. And that's a false start as, as Brendan Morley will take the draw. Sent back to the right point. Levin sends it off wide right of the net. Chased over by Hunter Chapman. Thompson takes off the boards to left point in McIntyre. Sends it to Levin. Puts up a shot. Is deflected away by the Knights. Chased by Thompson to the near side. Holds, waits. Sends it to the high slot, 11, shot is poked away by Wade Conlon. And sent back and cleared the Syracuse zone. Chased by McIntyre and Lynch, McIntyre wins the foot race. Sent back to the neutral zone, taken by Notre Dame. And they clear it back to the Simsbury zone. A minute 18 remaining in the penalty. 
6.45 in the second period. It's 2-0 Simsbury. Or excuse me, 2-0 Notre Dame. Arnold avoids the hit there but loses control of the puck as it's sent back over towards the Simsbury zone and handled by Ryan Lynch. Puck poked away by McIntyre and sent to Levin. From Ben Levin to Zach Levin as he loses control of the puck. The near side. And in the scrum, picked off by Sconzo, sent to Arnold. Lose it to the far side and it's cleared off in the neutral zone and chased over by Brendan Law. 35 seconds to go in the power play. Simsbury trails 2-0 behind his own net. It's Law. Sends it out towards center ice and Chapman to, to Gelman. And that is cleared back of the Simsbury zone, handled by Marquis. Chased by Brendan Law. Behind his zone net. 10 seconds to go in the penalty. So pinballs off the board, as does Peter Sconzo. Sent off towards the offensive zone. There's a shot, crossing shot, just a bit wide there for Arnold. As the penalty expires and Simsbury comes up empty. That crossing pass by Chapman is just a bit wide. And we have a whistle and an icing against Notre Dame. So the Trojans just starting to get to show some life here on offense as they trail two goals to none. 5-17 remaining in period number two. Nolan Thompson had a very big scoring chance just before the penalty and then a couple big shots during the power play. So Trojans win this face off. That shot by Eustace is high and wide right. Handled by Reese. That's Riccio getting pinned against the wall, pokes it away towards James Foster. Brantz gets the puck poked away and sent over to Ryan Lynch. Crossing goes to Kyle Lynch. At our reach, we have a whistle here as Reese and Lynch get tangled up on the far side boards. And that'll be an icing against Notre Dame. Four fifty-three to go in period number two. An offensive zone face-off opportunity for the Trojans. It'll be Eric Austin for Notre Dame, Sterling Brandt for Simsbury. Trojans win this one. It's Eustace from the left point to Foster. Gets spun down by Lynch. That's poked away there as Sterling Brandt had an opportunity there in front of the crease. That's out of the reach of Chapman. And we have a whistle here and a penalty against Notre Dame. A very big break for the Trojans. It looked like Dumas had a clear break at the net. It'll be Colin O'Connor. A sophomore defenseman gets called and will go to the sin bin for two. So Simsbury will get their second power play opportunity in the second period. It's Zach Levin, wins the faceoff for the Trojans, gets it to brother Ben Levin. So roughing penalty on O'Connor, and that shot is deflected high and up into the mesh. As Ben Levin tried to put up, try to score goal number three this season, instead got deflected by goaltender Wade Conlon. So Simsbury, have another offensive zone faceoff, Zach Levin and Kyle Lynch will draw. And a false start called against the Trojans, and then will send Nolan Thompson. And a false start called against Notre Dame, which will send Ryan Lynch. Draw, won by the Trojans, taken by Thompson. To McIntyre, from the high slot, puts up a shot blocked by the Notre Dame defense and sent off, but it's blocked away by McIntyre. Counter attack for Simsbury, four on three if they hurry. That is blocked away by Notre Dame defender and sent off into the zone. Thompson chases it down. 90 seconds remain in the penalty. From the right point, it's Levin to McIntyre. Puts up a shot, kicked away and deflected to the mesh by goaltender Wade Conlon. 
And it looks like the official is going to the uh, clock manager here as the clock still keeps winding here. That should be about a minute 19 remaining in the power play. So the clock right off a few seconds after that puck was deflected into the mesh. Simsbury 0 for their first two. Excuse me, 0 for their... Yep, that's the second penalty for Notre Dame. Let's try to get this sorted out. Took about a period and a half for the Trojans to get back in this game offensively. At least get a couple good looks at the net. For the most part, for the first period, the puck was in their own defensive zone for the most of the part. But here in period number two, at least Simsbury has gotten a lot of chances, a lot of at least testing out Wade Conlon. Still having some trouble restarting the penalty clock. I believe the officials telling the Notre Dame bench that they will keep count of the penalty clock themselves on the ice. So Thompson and Andrucci square off. One by the Trojans, that's a shot. Kick save made by Conlin. Rebound opportunity, sent away. Thompson, loose puck for the net. Thompson again, wide left. And taken by the Knights. And a big vicious hit by Hunter Chapman. There's a shot in front of the net, blocked away by Davins. McIntyre from the right point, sets up Levin, puts up a shot, held on and save made by Conlon. And we have a whistle as he caught it, dropped it, but they blew the whistle anyway. 329 remaining in period number two. Two nothing it remains. Notre Dame's lead. Out of a premature whistle there on the official as Conlon had caught it and then dropped it on the transfer. And it looks like a player for each side is being sent to the penalty box. I'm gonna make out who it is. It's Zach Levin for the Trojans. And it's Will Roan for Notre Dame. So it'll be three on four hockey for about 42 seconds. It'll just be dual penalties. It'll be five on four for the Trojans for the remainder of the Cullen O'Connor penalty. So drawing on the far side, it's Jake Arnold who wins the draw for the Trojans from the right point. Law puts up a shot, held onto and saved by Conlon. Simsbury really doing a heck of a job putting the puck on the net, something they could not do in the first period. Arnold, Arnold and Austin draw, one by the Trojans. It's Chapman behind the opposing net. On the near side corner, Holds weights, poked away by Davins. On to Law, to Gelman, to Law, to Chapman. Back to Law. That's a shot, we have a whistle here. 
And it's a holding penalty that we call and a little some extracurriculars going on between Sconzo and a Notre Dame skater. And it's Peter Sconzo is getting escorted to the penalty box. He gets called for holding. And we got a whistle here and a timeout has been called. So we'll be four on four hockey for about 11 seconds. Two fifty-eight remaining in period number two. It's two nil Notre Dame. Sperry is at least showing signs of life on the offensive end, putting up a lot of very big shots there on Wade Conlon, but he's been there to deny all of them. It's Swenson, loses the draw to Eric Austin as that shot deflected and poked away. Lynch behind the net. Sends it off to Dumas. From the high slot, it's kicked away and sent over towards Ryan Lynch from the left point. That is wide. And that, the first penalty expires. It's five on four hockey for Notre Dame. That's sent away to the left point. That's O'Connor to Lynch to O'Connor. Poked away by Swenson. Sent over towards Dumas's direction. That is a bit wide. On the left point. Poke, nice poke check by Swenson, but recovered by Notre Dame. That shot, but it's a big shot, it scores! A power play goal for the Knights as they build their lead to three nil. Big centering pass by Lynch believe that was Dumas, the senior who scores for Notre Dame. And if that's the case, that's his second goal of the night and his third point. So it's 3-0 Notre Dame. It's the second power play goal of the day. Thompson and Morley, and they've got a false start. Now they're actually trying to fix the clock here. And the officials will conference here. So it looks like there's a, oh, there's apparently the same players listed twice for Notre Dame for two different penalties. Seems very look like they were really showing some signs of life in the second period, but to no avail as Notre Dame has netted two goals in this period to draw a 3-0 advantage. And that's the team that can really score in bunches. They scored eight goals in an 8-5 victory over Notre Dame Fairfield and have scored a total of 11 goals in two games this season. So Thompson... Faces Morley at center ice. One by the ninth. It's Colin O'Connor credited for the goal for Notre Dame and not Dumas. He's credited with a power play goal. 1.45 remaining in period at number two. That puck poked away by Thompson and intercepted by Chapman. Trojans have a two-on-one if they hurry. Chapman puts up a shot, it's wide left. 
It looked like it got tripped there by Notre Dame skater. And we have a whistle here. Chapman was sent airborne by a, a Notre Dame skater. The officials will try to clear this one out. Yes, and they do call Morley for tripping. The fourth penalty for Notre Dame this period. The Trojans are 0 for 2 on the power play. The Sidbit's getting crowded for both sides. Simsbury with two still in the box. Notre Dame's got three players. However, in a few seconds, one of them will expire. Draw one by the Trones and Gelman from the left point crosses it to Law. Puts up a shot. Glove save made by Conlin and holds for a faceoff. One of the Notre Dame, actually the dueling penalties expire. Excuse me, Patrick Connors the one called for the penalty. A minute 19 remaining in the period. And that's Lynch. Gets tangled up with teammate Eric Austin. Loses the puck there for a moment. Taken by Arnold. Gets it to Gelman with 65 seconds to go in the period. Sent over to the far side to Law. Behind his own net, trying to start a play. As Colin O'Connor looks on, crossing it over towards Gelman. Off his skate. Turns the puck over, crossing by O'Connor. Austin puts up a shot, but that's poked away. Crossing shot, poked away by the Simsbury defense. It's Gelman. Wide open net there momentarily for Lynch. Riccio puts up a shot, deflected up high to the mesh. 33 and a half seconds to go in period number two. It's 3 0 Green Knights. Just when you think Sinsbury is about to claw right back into this, Notre Dame has put up two goals in the second period to take a 3 0 lead. It's Thompson and Lynch. Won by the Trojans. It's Levin to McIntyre. To Levin. That shot is blocked away, but taken back by Levin. To Zach Levin. Back to Ben Levin. To Zach. Puts up a shot off the post and taken by McIntyre off the rebound. Spins off the defender. Crossing pass a bit wide and pokes away there with three seconds to go. And that will do it in period number two. Simsbury showed some signs of life on the offensive end, but gave up two goals in the period by Matt Dumas, the senior, and a power play goal by Colin O'Connor. Uh, there was a total of seven penalties in the second period. Simsbury 0 for 3 on the power play. Notre Dame 1 for 2. Simsbury will try to at least, they'll have their work cut out for them if they'll try to draw even here as they're down three goals to none. We'll take a break here on SCTV and back with period number three right after this. And welcome back to the International Skating Center of Connecticut as we get ready to start period number three between the eighth ranked Simsbury Trojans and the Notre Dame Green Knights. Trojans trail this one three goals to nil thanks to two power play goals and a third goal by Matt Dumas. Simsbury is 0 for 3 on the power play. Whereas Notre Dame is two for six. That really has been the difference in this game as they have really been dominant on the offensive front. It'll be Eric Austin drawing for the Knights and Nolan Thompson for the Trojans. Here we get ready to go. We start the third period. Trojans will be going from left to right in their home whites. And puck dropped and taken by 
And there's a breakaway opportunity, and that is kicked away by Wade Conlin. A turnover by the Knights, and a rare one at that, giving Hunter Chapman a breakaway opportunity, but denied by the junior Wade Conlin. Instead, the Trojans will face it off here at the near side hash. It's Austin and Thompson. Draw one by the Trojans. It's Levin from left to right to the near side. Gets it, crosses it towards McIntyre, sends it towards Hunter Chapman. From his own side to McIntyre, crosses to Levin, puts up a shot high and wide right of the net. Taken by Thompson, puts up a shot, and scores! And it's Nolan Thompson, the captain for the Trojans. Puts them on the board with goal number two of the season. Trojans trail this one, three goals to one. Simsbury, a little bit of a dirty goal there, but I mean, that all started from that opening face-off off the turnover. Putting the puck out of that there, Thompson makes them pay. Swenson and Lynch will draw. Looks like a Notre Dame player has been sent off back to the locker room. So it's actually Hunter Chapman who gets credited for the goal, his first of 2013. Assisted by Nolan Thompson, his first of the season. So it's a big goal for the Trojans. They look to get back in this game with 14 seconds to go in the game. Gelman loses the puck and chased over by Lynch. Sandwiches him into the boards and he gets whistled there. And Gelman looks like he'll be going to the sin bin for two. So Gelman, the senior blue liner. Heads in two minutes, 14.05 to go in period number three. Austin and Thompson draw in the left circle, one by the Knights. It's Lynch from the left point, crosses it past, weaves it to the defense. Oh, it interferes, that's a shot, Marquis knocks it away and poked it off by Eustace. And that's a shot and a goal! It's Kyle Lynch of a great centering pass. And a power play goal for the Knights. That is their third of the game, and they draw their lead back to three. It's 4-1 Notre Dame. A beautiful centering pass, leaving the net vulnerable. And of course, Notre Dame back to capitalize. They lead this one 4-1. Simsbury will really have to try to regroup here. They have 13.48 remaining in the game. Down three goals. That's Dumas. Kyle Lynch. So Dumas picks up his second assist of the game. Kyle Lynch gets his second power play goal of the game. So it's Levin from left to right. Crosses it over. That's Arnold. Let's have a shot as poked away. Sent back to Kyle Lynch. To Ryan Lynch. Takes a big hit there, but flattens Levin. Chased by Zach Levin. Crosses it to Brother Ben. And the high slot sends it airborne towards the direction of Jake Arnold. It's poked away by Lynch. Sent it off to Dumas. Puts up a shot, Marquise there for the save. Sent off towards Zach Levin, the neutral zone, crossing pass towards Francis. Back to Davins, and chased over by Kurt Eustace. Out his own net, sends it to McIntyre. Chapman loses it to Kyle Lynch. Puts up a shot as high and wide left. Chased by Andrucci. A feed off Thompson. Scrum the far side corner. Thompson comes away with it. Weaving through the neutral zone. Stops, crosses, Chapman is behind him. 
Notre Dame sends it back towards center ice. Chased over by Andrucci. To Haben. There's a shot. It's kicked away by Marquis. Loose puck and a goal! It's Andrucci. Off the rebound. And Notre Dame takes a 5-1 lead. This has really opened up here for Notre Dame. Scored two goals in each of the past two periods. And Drew Marquis has seen some better nights. Draw one by the Trojans. It's Brendan Law from left to right to Foster. Hoban gets credit for the assist. That centering pass is poked off and away as Morley takes it. Sends it off to Sterling Brant. Has some trouble, gets poked away by Biondi. Taken back by Brendan Law. 11.30 remaining in the third period. It's 5-1 Notre Dame. It's Brant. Fends off the defender in the neutral zone. Foster. Puts up a pass to Reese. Puts up a shot and it's kicked away. Good scoring chance denied by Conlon. Riccio sends it to Law. Scrum of the far side boards. O'Connor sends it airborne towards Law's direction. So O'Connor back to center ice and Reese to Brantz. But poked away by the Notre Dame defense again. Trojans will go for a line change. 10.40 remaining in period number three. It's 5-1 Notre Dame West Haven. Chased over by Kyle Lynch by his own net. Gets sends it off towards center ice. And it's a three on two for the Knights if they hurry. Centering pass to the high slot. Puts up a loose puck. Save made by Marquez. And we have a whistle here. Notre Dame looks, going around thinking they've scored. No signal from the officials. Officials conferring here in front of the net. The Knights raise their sticks, signaling that they'd score, but both officials now conferring whether or not that's a goal. Notre Dame, an eight goal scoring, scoring effort in their last game and a win against Notre Dame Fairfield on Saturday night. They've answered that with a five goal ep effort here tonight. Still conferring here. No goal is the signal. And a face off at the far side circle. A mock cheer from this hometown Simsbury crowd. As senior Matt Dumas of Notre Dame arguing the official, he just got a goal taken away from him. But nonetheless, it is 5-1 as the teams draw the far circle. Official signals ready for play. And a false start. Draw one by the Trojans, sent off towards the neutral zone. That's poked away by Gaffney. Puts up a shot and a whistle, and the Trojans are off sides. 10-13 remaining in period number three. They trail this one 5-1. It's Swenson who wins the draw for the Trojans. Off to Riley Chapman. Puck gets poked away by Dumas, who's been everywhere tonight on the ice for Notre Dame. Chased over by Gelman. Crosses it over to Riley Chapman and gets knocked down by the stick. No call from the officials as Abate and knocked down Chapman there. Got a little tangled up there. It's Lynch weaving through the Simsbury defense. Behind the net, 
poked away there and sent off to the right point. That's a bit wide left and chased over by the Knights. It's Lynch, sends one off, is poked away by Marquis. McIntyre sends it airborne to the neutral zone, chased over by Pat Francis. Goes to body, takes a hit there from Gelman. It's Lynch, poke check away, and it's Swenson who loses his sick. Offensive chance for Notre Dame. That shot is poked away by Marquis and sent off to the left point. Pinball behind the boards to the direction of Kyle Lynch. A three-point effort tonight. Swenson sends it off and it's back towards the zone. And the whistle, and that'll be an icing against the Trojans. With 8.53 remaining in the third period. Notre Dame just been all over the place tonight. Just really outmatching Simsbury on every aspect thus far. Chapman from the near side crosses it to Levin and loses control of the puck and a whistle. As that looked to be an offsides. 8.44 to go in the third period. 5-1 Notre Dame. Draw one by the Knights from right to left. As a Trojan, looks like he lost his stick and a whistle there. And this will be a penalty. A trip against Notre Dame. Let's try to see, identify the skater. That'll be Alex Andrucci. Simsbury 0 for 3 on the power play. But we'll get a chance here with 8.31 remaining in regulation. It's Thompson and Austin. Draw. One by the Trojans, they get back to the neutral zone. It's Levin. Back to brother Zach. Takes a big vicious hit right there from Colin O'Connor. That shot is deflected up high and airborne to the far side. Chased over by the Trojans, it's McIntyre from the left point. Sends it to Chapman. Trying to set up Thompson, but puts up a shot. Is held on to by Wade Conlon. And will hold for a faceoff. With 96 seconds to go. In the Andrucci penalty. Uh, Zach Levin wins the draw for the Trojans. It's Ben Levin, shot deflected to the right, taken back by Notre Dame, send up off the boards and cleared to the Simsbury zone. Marquis knocks it to the opposite side in the direction of Thompson. That pass is turned over, but Simsbury recovers. The minute 15 to go in the penalty. It's McIntyre. Mulls turns it over and gets it to Ben Levin. Off to brother Zach. Sends it up to Chapman. Puts up a shot. Loose puck is kicked away by Conlon. McIntyre crosses it to Levin. Passes out of Thompson's reach and taken by Davins. And he sends that one towards Marquis' direction, gloves it, and hangs on for the faceoff. It's been a rough night for Drew Marquis as he's allowed five goals tonight, three on the power play. It's 5-1 Notre Dame, the three nights of West Haven. 7.19 to go in the period number three. 45 seconds to go in the Andrucci penalty. Puck crossed over the direction of Hunter, of Riley Chapman. Poked away by Eric Austin as he gets tangled with Brian Gelman. It's Chapman to Law. Weaves around Austin. Once more. Gets pressured there. Riccio recovers. Sends it towards McIntyre. 
from left to right. Behind the Notre Dame net. Loses it there into the net. Riccio recovers, sends to the left point to Arnold. Took Eustace, his shot is blocked and turned away by a Notre Dame defender and taken by McIntyre. An intercept and a whistle as Notre Dame was offsides. 5-1 Knights, they lead Simsbury here with 6.25 remaining in period number three. Lynch and Swenson draw in the near side hash. One by the Knights. And a whistle here. And another offsides against Notre Dame. Draw. Polk trickles over to the far side, taken by. Ryan Lynch, and a big hit right there on the far side, chased over. And it's Reese, pokes it away. It's Reese. Notre Dame bench, one of the penalty there as Lynch gets a big hit there on Eustace. It's Swenson, we got a whistle here. And it looks like Eustace and Dumas both being escorted to the penalty box. Both high impact seniors for these squads. Dumas the captain for Notre Dame. Eustace one of the lead defensemen for the Trojans. An alternate captain. So 5.50 to go in period number three. It's 5-1 Notre Dame. Morley wins the draw. Sends it out to her in saldo. Another whistle. It's a... And it's Grant Swenson being sent to the penalty box for a cross check. So that'll be another power play opportunity for Notre Dame. Notre Dame two for six. Excuse me, they are three for seven on the power play tonight. So Swenson the senior forward. Two minutes for the cross check. Lynch wins the draw, sends it to Marquis' direction, and he gloves it and holds for the faceoff. 5.38 remaining in period number three. Austin and Thompson draw, one by Notre Dame. It's Lynch to Austin, to Lynch from the high slot. Lynch in the high slot again. Puts up a shot, is deflected by the Simsbury defense and taken by McIntyre. Sends it to Chapman. Weaves through the defense. Weaves through a, a pass, another hit. Puts up a shot, is knuckles away from the net. 90 seconds to go in the Swenson penalty. That is sent cross, and Thompson pokes it away. Sends it into the Notre Dame zone. We swallowed up by three defenders. Swenson in front of the net, it's Sent away by Conlon. Ryan Lynch, the junior forward, crossing into the offensive zone and sends it back towards the neutral zone with 60 seconds remaining the Swenson penalty. Here's Notre Dame just playing a game of keep away right now from Simsbury. It's Kyle Lynch. Lose it from Austin. It's Hunter Chapman from left to right. Trying to create something here. Puts up a backhanded shot. Is high and wide right. Jemin stops, holds, takes a hit there from Ryan Lynch. And it is 
As Levin puts a shot for Chapman. Left away, loose puck. Poked away. And a whistle. And a hook will be called against Notre Dame's Eric Austin. It's their second penalty of the period. Simsbury is 0 for 4 on the power play. But it'll be 4 on 4 hockey for 28 seconds. 4 11 remaining in the third period. Trojans will go with Rooney, McIntyre, and the Levin brothers. It's Ben that wins the draw for Simsbury, gets it off to McIntyre. Puts up a shot, is sent away, and back to the Simsbury zone. It's McIntyre. Spins away from the defender. On his own net, sends it towards Ben Levin. Back to center ice. Pinballed away, but recovered by McIntyre. Trying to start an offensive play. Tries to get a wrist shot, poked away by Davins to the left point. Rooney puts up a shot as high and wide left, and Simsbury has the power play for a minute 23 as we have a whistle here. With 3.34 to go. And the third period. Platoon swap for each side. Has Notre Dame lead this one by four? Zach Levin wins the draw, gets it out to Brother Ben. It's McIntyre puts up a shot, is blocked away. And a Notre Dame skater sends it back to center ice. McIntyre chases it down. A minute 10 to go in the power play. Sends it towards Ben Levin. Crosses it to Thompson. And it's sent back and cleared to the Syracuse, excuse me, the Simsbury zone. McIntyre behind his own net. Start a play with 52 seconds to go. And the power play. It's Thompson. Sends it off to Chapman, to McIntyre, to Chapman. Puts up a shot, save made. Rebound opportunity is poked away by the Notre Dame defense. And sent towards McIntyre. And then golf to reset as this puck goes, lands in the neutral zone. Dumped back into the Notre Dame zone. 25 seconds remaining in the Austin penalty. And that's sent to the Simsbury zone where Marquis makes the pad save and sends it towards Gelman. That's a big outlet pass and a whistle and it'll be icing against the Trojans. 12 seconds remain in the Eric Austin penalty. 2.23 to go in period number three. It's been that kind of night for the Trojans. Trojans win this draw. It's Law. Off to Rooney. Dumps into the zone. The Austin penalty expires with 2.08 to go to the third period. It's Brandt. The Notre Dame skater has lost his stick. And this is taken. And then the skater falls. Sent back airborne. A little extra curriculars there on that hit. As Austin looks like he sent a fist towards Brennan Law's direction. No call there. One minute 35 remaining in the third period. It's Gelman. Crosses it to Law. Pinballs it, but taken by Biondi. It's Gelman. To Foster. Nice poke check away there. Taken by Gelman. Puts up a shot on net, is blocked away by Conlon. The near side. Scrum, it's crossed over. 
by Gelman. Notre Dame sends it towards the Simsbury zone. And a whistle, and it'll be icing against the Knights. 49 seconds remaining. Simsbury appears to drop their first game of the season against the Notre Dame offense that just was clicking on all cylinders today. Five goals, three on the power play. Simsbury just had no answer. So Arnold wins the draw for the Trojans. Since it's 11. Chased over by Francis. Under 40 remaining. Puck poked away. Arnold tries to put up a shot, but it's loose puck is poked away by Francis. It's Rooney, chases it down, and we have a whistle here. Twenty eight point six remaining. Brant will face off. Draw one by the Knights. Twenty five seconds remaining from all right, there's a shot there is wide right by Petrio. Rooney takes a hit there from Petrio. It's Brant tries to poke it away. Instead, taken by Abate, 10 seconds remaining. It's There's a shot sent away by Marquis and holds on with four and a half seconds to go in the third period. And the draw, one by the Trojans, sent back off towards center ice as the clock expires. In this game, a disappointing game for the Trojans as they fall to rival Notre Dame by a score of five goals to one. The Trojan defense allowed three power play goals, which leads us to our three stars of the game. Tonight's third star, junior Ryan Lynch, with his one assist, but was everywhere on the defensive side for Notre Dame, poking away just about every pass and every cross possible to stymie the Simsbury offense. Tonight's second star, captain and left wing, Matt Dumas, so the goal and two assists on the night, leading us to our first star, junior Kyle Lynch, had two power play goals and an assist tonight for Notre Dame, really be the key cog to their offense as they take down the number eight Trojans by a score of five to one. Simsbury's next game, will be here against Northwest Catholic on Saturday. Puck will drop at 6.10. For everybody here at SCTV, this is Adam Roswodowski signing off from the ISCC. Good night, everybody.